how to add a pattern to a path in Inkscape. I'm just going to create a circle, very basic shape, something like that. Make sure you use the Select tool, select both of the paths, then go to Extensions and down to Generate from Path and Pattern along Path. Set the Live Preview on and you've got a number of options here. Repeated, Single, so I go with Single, it just creates one. I'm going to go with Repeated but there are other options as well. You can also modify the space, you can see there's a gap of 5-ish. You can put it to 20, so you can now see there's a bit bigger gap. Also you notice here you've got a normal offset. You can set that to 0, so that designs are all along that line. If you've got the normal set to something like minus 40 or 40, you can set it either way. You might notice a slight distortion in the path. Also you can modify this, the tangential offset, and that's the start point here. So if you put it to say 5, that will shift up to there. If you put it to 50, it will shove along further. Also you can set this, pattern is vertical, obviously in the case of circle, no change. And click apply and close. The paths are not connected, so you might like to go to layers, and you can see here, you've got this path, and you can delete it. But also what you do, you can select both those paths, right click, and group. And now they're grouped, and you can move it around, reposition it. You can also create design around a circle, or any other path. Make certain you use a select tool to select both, as long as this one was created first, and then you got this, then go to Extensions again, and Generate from Path, and down to Pattern Along Path. Again, set Live Preview on, and you can see all the paths. Now you might want to change it, Snake to Ribbon, or maybe go back to Snake, also repeated and stretched. And you'll see that the design is much nicer in that case. Also, you can set the space between copies, so 40, or if you want them closer, go with 10. You can also change the normal offset. If you put it to minus 40, they're outside. If you put it to 40, or 20, or 30, they're crunched in the center. You'll notice it's slightly distorted then. You can also modify this, and maybe put it to 20. Subtle change at best. You can also set pattern is vertical, and you can see what happens then, different result. So it depends on the shape, etc. And click apply, and close. And there's your design. Again, they're separate and can be grouped if you wish. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.